back to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. Now I've had a lot of requests to do this video in the past so I am finally making it today. So sorry for the long wait. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my duck soup for my ferrets. Duck soup is just really good for ferrets who may be feeling unwell, who may have uh, just gotten out of surgery and need help putting on some more weight, or just ferrets who need help putting on weight in general. My ferrets, they all have adrenal disease, and adrenal disease causes them to lose weight, and it's just harder in general for them to put on weight so I like to make this duck soup for them and I try to give it to them daily so uh, duck soup is just overall really good to have on hand in case your ferret gets sick or it's just not really feeling like eating hard food um yeah I feed my ferrets kibble I do not feed them raw food so this is not a raw like duck soup I wish it was I just don't really have the patience to and my ferrets don't like, don't seem to like raw meat. So, anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you want to know how I make my duck soup, keep on watching. Okay, so basically, what you're going to need for this recipe is a blender. It just helps grind up all the food a lot more smoother, so it's a lot creamier. And uh, because some ferrets don't like the texture of like chunks in their soup. Um, so if they're really sick, they're most likely going to want something that's a lot smoother. So a blender just really helps um, make sure of that. Main thing that you're going to need is the kibble. This is what I put in my duck soup. I use the same kibble that I feed them, but I just grind it up. So I'll take a cup of each of these foods and I'll grind it up. So the foods that I currently feed my ferrets are Pretty Pets, Totally Ferret Active, Song, Epigen, the digestive one, and Go. It's important to not feed just one type of ferret food because not one food is going to have all of the nutrients that they need so that's why it's very important to feed them a variety of kibbles. Next thing you're going to need is some chicken and chicken broth or chicken and gravy whichever um, baby food so this just adds some more protein into the diet some more fats um, helps them perk up a little bit. Another thing that's really good to add into it is some uh, salmon oil or some ferritone. I try not to, I'm trying not to use ferritone anymore because I have a ferret that has insulinoma and I have heard that it can make it worse or can cause insulinoma. I don't know 100% but because of those rumors I've been switching to salmon oil. I know that a lot of people use different kinds, of, different kinds of oils. You can use salmon oil, you don't have to use salmon oil, you can use ferritone if you'd like. Uh, just personal preference really. Another thing you can add into the soup is some probiotics. I usually use probiotics but I recently ran out so I will not be adding that into the duck soup this time but I really recommend adding that especially if your ferret is sick because that will just help lift up their immune system and just help them heal up a lot faster. Obviously you're going to need a container so I've been using this big tub, uh, usually fills it up at least halfway and this will last me a good while, about like maybe a month, maybe a little longer than a month depending on how much I'm or how often I'm feeding it to them. So yeah, I'm just going to pour that in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add water to it until the fork sits on top. The goal here is to not water it down so much that the fork sinks in but to add it just enough to where it sits on top. That's how you know you have the perfect consistency. Make sure to add warm water too. So I just added two cups of water. When you first add the water, uh, it might look like you've added too much, but that's really the goal because the kibble is going to soak up the water anyways. So it's going to, in the long run, get a lot thicker the more that you stir it in. Okay, so about right now is when I like to add in the baby food. We're just gonna open one up, pour it in there. It smells delicious. And the reason why I like to add in the baby food right now is because I like to fill the containers up with some water to make sure I get all of it. And so yeah, if you go to add this in after you add in all the water, you might end up making it too liquidy. So yeah, I'm going to fill this up now. It's about halfway, so you can put the lid back on. And 
to get it all out. This is by Beach Nut, by the way. I usually like to use Gerber, but the store that I went to was out of the Gerber brand, so surprisingly. Now I'm just gonna stir this in. Yeah, I have two ferrets, and this will probably last them about a month or so. You can freeze this stuff if you'd like. Um, I'm a very lazy person. <laughs> So I like to make a lot of it so that I don't have to make it for a good long bit. So yeah, now I'm going to add some more water. So that was a half cup of water that I just now added in. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some salmon oil. I don't really measure this out. I just kind of eyeball it. That was probably a little bit too much. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> I do like to add a little bit too much water, a little bit more than I need, I guess I could say, because after it sits overnight, it usually gets a little bit harder. You could do all this in the blender as well, but I just don't really like cleaning things, so <laughs> I just like to do it this way. So we basically just use three cups of water, one can of baby food, one cup of each kibble, and I'm gonna say two tablespoons of salmon oil. And yeah, that's the recipe. So I'm just gonna take some and put it on a plate because I'm going to go ahead and give it to them now. Um, this would probably be enough for one serving for a ferret, but because I have two and they really love this stuff, I usually do about that much. Yeah, so this will last you about two months, but I would recommend freezing it after a month if you haven't already used it all up because um, it does mold eventually, obviously. <laughs> yeah, this is the recipe, and thank you guys for watching. But yeah, if you, <laughs> but yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And let me know if the recipe works out for you and if your ferrets like it. And make sure to leave all your questions in the comments down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. So many loves. Get your baby, get your baby.